Bajana Novakovic is a Serbian-Australian actress who starred in the American TV series Instinct with Alan Cumming. Novakovic is known for her roles in films such as Devil in the Little Death. She starred alongside Keanu Reeves and Adelaide Clemens in the drama Generation Um, and with Mel Gibson in the thriller Edge of Darkness. She appeared in the US version of television series Shameless as Bianca. She starred in the science fiction film Beyond Skyline, a sequel to Skyline. Novakovic was born in Belgrade, SR Serbia, SFR Yugoslavia, to Serbian parents. She moved to Australia in 1988, at the age of seven. She was initially interested in becoming a social worker or doctor, but she changed her mind and decided to pursue performing arts. Novakovic studied at the McDonald College in Sydney and graduated from the National Institute of Dramatic Art with a bachelor's degree in dramatic arts in 2002. Her younger sister Valentina is also an actress, known for playing Natasha Williams in the Australian soap opera, Neighbours. In 2003, Novakovic played Rhonda in the ABC miniseries Marking Time, a role which won her an Afi Award for Best Actress in a Leading Role in a Television Drama or Comedy. As an actress, Novakovic's film credits in Australia include Blackrock, Strange Fits of Passion, The Monkey's Mask, Thunderstruck, Solo, and the Serbian films Up to Misty and Skinning. From 2007 to 2009, she played Tippy in TV series Satisfaction for Showtime Australia. She also appeared in Drag Me to Hell, Edge of Darkness, Devil, Burning Man, and Generation Um. Her theatre credits in Australia include These People, Away and Strange Fruit at the Sydney Theatre Company, The Female of the Species, at the Melbourne Theatre Company, Wojcik, Criminology, El Dorado and Necessary Targets at the Malthouse Theatre in Melbourne, Death Variations and Lava Play for B Sharp, Romeo and Juliet, with Bell Shakespeare Company, and Debris for Ride on Theatre. Novakovic runs her own independent theatre company, Right on Theatre, with co-director Tanya Goldberg. She was a producer and performer for the 2004 Right on Theatre sell-out season of Lava Play at the downstairs Beaver Street Theatre and the 2006 Green Room-nominated production of Debris. In 2008, she translated, adapted and directed Fake Porno in Melbourne, which was invited to be part of the Powerhouse season in Brisbane in 2009 and also received three Green Room nominations including Best Production. Outside of Ride On, she wrote and directed with Melbourne's Black Lung Theatre for the critically acclaimed production of Sugar at the 2007 Adelaide Fringe Festival. In 2010, Novakovic received an Afi nomination for International Award for Best Actress for her role in Edge of Darkness. She is currently starring in an improvised theatrical production called The Blind Eight Project for the Sydney Festival. Novakovic landed the part of a beautiful prostitute turned law student in Fox's series, Rake, starring Greg Kinnear. The show was cancelled in May 2014. She portrayed Claire Hitchens in The Hallow, a horror film set in Ireland and directed by Corin Hardy. In the episode After Hours of Season 2 of Instinct, Novakovic plays a NYPD detective going undercover as an Australian. When her on-screen partner suggests she needs a dialect coach, she replies in character, my accent was perfect by the way. Right On's late 2011 production was the story of Mary McLean by herself, based on the writings of Mary McLean, a self-proclaimed genius and recluse from the very early 20th century in Butte, Montana. Novakovic wrote the piece with musician Tim Rogers and Tanya Goldberg as director. They received funding from the Australia Council for the Arts for Development of the show, with support from Malthouse Theatre, Maragong Theatre Company and Griffin Theatre Company, as well as production funding from Art NSW. A comprehensive Maclean anthology Human Days. A Mary Maclean reader debuted in Australia with a foreword by Novakovic in late November 2011. The second volume, A Quite Unusual Intensity of Life. A Mary McLean Companion, also issued under the Petrarca Press logo, is to be published in 2015. The two volumes will total more than 1,200 pages. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.